Well, I told you I don't know how to edit, so y'all get more time with me and baby. We're gonna cook some, well, bake, I guess, granola bar. Yeah. And the whole video, I'll probably be talking like this. I totally got this recipe from Phil and Alex. Um, love them. If you don't watch them, they're amazing. Love, love, love them. Um, but yeah, this was her recipe for the granola. Oh, I think it's oatmeal, actually. Oatmeal bar casserole thing. I don't know. It's really delicious and healthy. And delicious. Even the three-year-old will eat it. Mm. Y'all know. You know. We're gonna cook. Yeah. Well, one of us. One of us is gonna eat veggie straw. And I'm gonna bake. Hey! I can't open. She's so stinking cute. Is that good veggie straw? You're, okay, you got it. You worked that out, baby. Good job. Great. So, this is amazing. It's oatmeal and um, raspberry goodness. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just really good. There's bananas on top. Um, this is the recipe. Oh, yeah. I know. I, I know. Mm. But, yeah. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. So. Let's try! Woohoo! Also, we are totally listening to, um, slash watching, uh, inspirational cleaning videos on my iPad because I, I like them. It's fun. Alright. One teaspoon of baking powder. I did two cups of oats, and now I'm doing a teaspoon of baking powder. But I can't find my teaspoon, so I'm using a fourth of a teaspoon, so that's why that took me a minute. It's a hot minute. That's what my sister would say. Also, can I take a minute and say, my sister taught me how to do my makeup, like all of it. Katie, you're amazing. Need you to teach me eyeliner next. I am hopeless with it. Oh, but I always feel like a like happier. I don't know. I mean, I haven't put a whole lot of effort in it. This is my husband's shirt that I like tied up. And then my sweatpants. Oh, whatever. Like, who cares? It's just me and... We have two cups of oats, a teaspoon of baking powder, a little uh, dash of cinnamon. It wasn't very clear. So I just kind of put the cinnamon in. Like, sprinkle for this. I don't know. It wasn't very clear <laughs> on the channel, so we just kind of dip, 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 dip. There we go. A little bit of salt. And then we have raspberry. Goodness. Washed and all that. But yeah. And she uses frozen, but I just got these and I really liked how the fresh uh, tasted. Like it was just really, really good. 
um, and my husband was a really big fan too. So we went with towels in the bottom and try and get the raspberries a little less wet. We'll see how that goes. I think that my refrigerator froze them a little bit, so I guess we are getting some frozen. Oh, here. Do you drop them? Okay. Well, I can wash them. Okay. There we go. Oh, yes. And your favorite little teeth or toy? Her favorite Tia toy is socks. It's weird, but I have them in a little basket in the living room where she can reach it. Every day, multiple times a day, she will go and get a pair of socks to chew on. Okay, whatever. Whatever makes you happy, kid. Whatever makes you happy. There you go. That one's gonna need to be washed. For sure. We're gonna. Wash my hands since I just fished stuff out of her right chair. So, you know. Oh, let me get that up. Oh, and the oven is preheating to 375. My oven really doesn't need to preheat, like at all, for very long. Um, but I did it anyway, because you're right. Just because it's a gas one. Oh. They're really, really wet. That's good. Okay. And then, hello. Raspberries. And you mix it all together. And then you do your wet ingredients in a separate bowl. And again, this is not my recipe. Um. I probably do it a little bit differently than um, Alex did, but this is her recipe, 100% Alex Congelier. She has her own channel, and if I can figure out how to put a link in the description, I will. Um, and then they have Phil and Alex is their other channel. I'm a big fan. Lord knows they've been doing this forever. Um, well, like a few years. Way longer than me. <laughs> They're amazing. I watch them pretty much every day. Like when they put out a new video. It's very um, inspiring. And they have um, two little girls. Two beautiful little girls. And I'm really inspired just by their ability to find like joy and happiness in life. Even when it throws them really crappy curveballs. Um, yeah. I'm just, I'm trying so much to fill my inner self with good things. So, you know, I kind of cut out TV a little bit, honestly, like try not to watch any of the other stuff just for a while. And just for me, like it's my personal thing. Um, trying to fill my head and my heart and my spirit with good and happy things. And so YouTube channels have been a big thing. And um, podcasts um, and even some audiobooks um, but I watch cleaning videos a lot and I watch vlogs uh, Kristen Casper is one of my favorites and um, Phil and Alex they're Phil and Alex are just so happy and like not just have like joy there's genuine joy and I want that so uh, Rachel Hollis another one like I talk about her a ton. I'm really kind of obsessed with her. But joy. Just genuine joy. And that's not the same thing as happiness. Like I feel like happiness comes and goes. Like you have days. Like I'm not in the best mood today. I'm just not. I'm PMSing if you want to know the truth. And like I said, Elliot earlier, like Elliot was up super early calling for me. I just didn't sleep a whole lot. So I might not be the happiest person ever, but I really feel joy and I'm very content and happy with my life. Happy. Very content with my life. I love my life, you know? I love my kids, I love my husband, I love 
working to be the best me. Yeah. I just do. Anyway, this is her recipe. So I mixed all of the. I just want to be very clear. Um, mixed all of those, the dry ingredients, and then you put the raspberries in with the dry ingredients. Okay, and so then the wet. I don't need this one. The wet ingredients. Two cups of milk. And I'm using uh, some almond milk because um, Elliot, her doctor thinks she might have some ADHD type stuff going on. So we've been, we've cut out like a lot of dairy and sugar and things like that. So I'm going to use almond milk in it because it'll probably taste. And I want to try it out and see. <laughs> Gotta give it a good, honest try. <laughs> So we need two cups of milk, one, and oops, two, two cups of milk. I've made it with regular milk, it's amazing. I'm sure the almond milk will be good, good too. Okay, so two cups of milk, right, one egg. Of maple syrup. Um, you can also use sugar, but this oh, it mixes better and it's a little less. Um, I don't know. It just mixes better, honestly. I'm not sure that's what she said in her recipe. I don't know the reason. I use it too. It's really good. And then, um, for the butter, it's three tablespoons of butter. But to get it to mix, you want to like soften it up a little bit. So I put mine in the microwave for like 30 seconds or so. What did I say it was? Three tablespoons. One. So 
So then we're gonna whisk, whisk it, whisk it good. Please mm, don't judge me. I'm a strange person. If you know me and you've met my dad, you know, you know. All right, so butter and the vanilla right in the beautiful wet ingredients. And then you mix all of that, obviously, because there's that egg in there. Uh, and obviously, if the butter is really hot, it'll cook that egg. So just make sure you whisk it really good. I kind of forgot to do that, but you, you got the point. So we're going to do that. And you put, oh, I have to grease the pan. Grease the pan. And then you put the dry ingredients in and then pour the wet over top. So there's all of the gorgeous dry ingredients. And actually, I add, um, oh, barnacle booties. Okay, well, I draw them. Um, I usually add hemp and chia seeds to mine, just some, but I kind of forgot to do that, so I'll add it now. It'll be fine. Just, you know, extra nutrition where I can sneak it in for Elliot and my husband, so yeah, Sheldon needs it. He's gonna see this and be like, really, really? Okay, no. Hemp and chia and flax. I just kind of mix it all in and you don't taste it or anything. Like, it's not like the oops. oops. Just kind of mix it. It'll be fine. All right, and then, so we're going to spread this out. raspberries too but I really like like the flavor that they give she said you could use any fruit um, raspberry is what she used and we really liked just the the tart flavor of it all kind of the fresh tart on it was very very good it's very very good so if anybody wants to make it that's why I'm telling you all of this Again, I don't really know where this channel is going. I'm just kind of going with it. I want, I guess, to show you guys my life and inspire someone. I, I just don't know where it's going to go. But right now, today, it's going here. Okay, so dry ingredients spread out in the greased pan. And then I pour this over the top, there we go, right baby, oh what a good help, okay hold on, you're fine, you got that, and then here's your second one, she's getting so big, she's seven months old as of yesterday, oh I cannot believe it, I really cannot, okay so wet and dry, butter, sorry about that guys, uh, wet and dry, and then you top it with a banana, just a sliced banana. And I actually do more than one because we really like the banana part. We just really, really do. So I add a little more. And it, it kind of works out too 
because when you're cutting them, like just to eat them, you cut, you get like this little oatmeal bar with a little banana on top. Just the way I arrange them, that's just how it works. Peeling all of the strings like my mama taught me. Katie makes fun of us, but mm, there's something about getting a banana string that just makes me feel like ill. So, probably a texture thing. I probably got, you know, a banana string or something as a kid and it scarred me for life. It scarred me so much I don't even remember it happening, but it affected me on a deep level. Very deep love. Whoops, well, I'll just eat that piece for you. Okay. Maybe we will add more banana because I have a lot of extra. Here, let's put this really. sitting on top of a raspberry, so it's not going to sit flat. I'm not going to kind of wish it would, but that's who cares. It is not going to matter once I make it here. Just switch it out. Rinsings! Washing In the oven it will go. For 45 minutes. Here, baby. Fast and move while I open the oven. Thank you so much. Here you go. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. Delicious. Delicious. Trust me, it's really good. So, 45 minutes, and they will be. Thank you for listening to my long rambling cook with me video. This has been Cooking with Amelia. She's an amazing chef, isn't she? It's just the best sous chef I could ask for. Bye guys.